so this video is going to be a continuation of my previous video the one i did about you know why i hate men in that video i talked about some of the injustices that you know the women in my country experience and i also reacted to a video of a young lady at you know i came across on youtube who was narrating her story of how her four-year-old daughter was aid by you know her husband and yeah i want to clarify a few things because i feel some people actually misunderstood me some people didn't get exactly what i was trying to say maybe i didn't explain it so well or maybe they just don't agree with me which is also okay and guys i want to say i am actually impressed by the way you guys have been respectful in the comments because like i always say we don't always have to agree with each other because i mean we are different people we see life differently at some point we are going to have different views but i really appreciate it when we can still stay respectful towards each other despite you know the differences because i am one person that believes that you can still put your point across without abusing without insulting you know like you don't have to be aggressive you don't have to call someone out of their name just to put your point across and if you get to that point like if you're one person that communicates through you know abusing and insulting like my brain is going to shut off like i'm not even going to give you the time of the day because to me i can't reason with you because you lack human decency you know but yeah with that being said let me get right into this video so guys i feel emotions were sparked when i talked about the video of that young lady the trophy wife i think she changed her name to isis on youtube right but before her channel was the trophy wife i feel so many people's emotions were triggered and i actually got a comment from someone who said you don't have to say that you hate all men just because one man did this and this because there are so many other women out there that also commit these things you know all these injustices towards men and children and yes guys i agree to that i actually agree that there are also women out there that commit these crimes to men and to kids as well right and if you go back and you watch my video i actually didn't say that all men are bad all men are weird i remember emphasizing that i believe there are still other good men out there but that doesn't change the fact that you know these things are happening these injustices are happening and we must speak on them right now my biggest issue when it came to that situation is i saw so many people reacting to her video and i don't want to be one that overbuilds on this situation because i mean it is not like it is a very sensitive situation right but my issue was why is it that everyone almost everyone i have seen reacting to her video they have been coming for the woman you know that is my biggest issue like why do you always turn it back to the victim i noticed that the biggest powerpoints most people were giving were this lady went for the lifestyle like so many women these days are so much into money they are obsessed with luxury and they end up you know sacrificing their own kids just for the luxury life and also people were saying this lady didn't actually vet this man so well like she didn't get to know him she didn't get to vet him enough for her to you know get married to him and guys personally i disagree with that I'm one person that doesn't believe in blaming someone for another person's wicked behavior like can we not act like you can vet someone for years and years and you still don't know that person like you can put someone through the best vetting you know procedures the best like what you consider to be the best vetting you know you can be with someone for years and years studying that person and you still won't know that person like people are very good at hiding who they are it's like you can be with someone and you think okay now i have 
totally vetted this person like i know them i know what they are capable of doing and what they are not you know but that person will shock you that person will surprise you like i feel it is really not about her not vetting the man like it is that man's character trust me even if she spent years and years vetting him before getting married like at the end this man would still show his true character like if he's a pedophile it doesn't matter how many years you take to vet him and i also saw people saying i'm sure she saw the red flags but she chose to ignore them just because she wanted this lavish lifestyle now i feel that is unjust to say it is a very unjust statement because guys it's not like it's not all the time that someone is going to show you signs you know i know men that are capable of putting on the best act like you truly have no clue who this guy is like you don't think he's even capable of doing something you know but like the way he portrays himself like sometimes you don't even get a clue you genuinely believe this is a good person you know i feel we should give more grace to victims you know we should give more grace to people because you really don't know how hard a situation is until it is your turn like until you're done in that situation i feel it is very easy to judge and dismiss until it is actually happening to you until such things are actually at your home in your house that's when you realize that oh my god like these things actually happen and sometimes it's not all the time that you miss the signs like sometimes the signs are not even there you know sometimes the signs are not even there people can be like very manipulative people can put on the perfect act you know honestly my issue is why is it that everyone is blaming this woman like your child was essayed because you love this lavish lifestyle you did vet this guy so well before you got married to him like why is she being attacked for something the man did you know like why are you crucifying this woman so much and you're choosing to forget the actual culprits you know the man the one that actually assaulted the kids you know fine okay let's say she ignored the sign she didn't use her intuition right at the end of the day she is still a victim like her kids were as aid like let's not forget that like i feel we don't give victims enough grace like and i actually feel that is the reason why most victims of your sa they don't come out to talk like they usually choose to keep quiet because society shames them for some reason it's always turned back to the victim some will say you should have dressed better you should have done this and this like it is always something it is always brought back to the victim and that's why most of them choose to keep quiet and i also saw a comment that said when it is done to women it is bad but when it is done to men it is good and to me that didn't make sense because honestly i feel we try to turn everything into a competition you know we try to turn everything against each other and it's like we forget the actual problem at hand you know we forget the actual issues that are actually affecting both genders i feel it doesn't always have to be a competition of who is getting it worse or better like no can we just acknowledge where we are messing up as human beings it doesn't always have to be a gender war you know can we for once just acknowledge these things and know where we have to change honestly i feel even if it were a lady that you know did such a thing and the husband was being blamed for her behavior i would still like i would still feel some type of way because it's like why are you blaming the other person for this person's character like let's hold people accountable for their actions like you don't always have to blame their character on another person you know it's like a man cheating and you know society is like yes your man cheated because you don't do this and this your man cheated because you don't give him enough sex like no the man cheated because he is a cheater 
he is a cheater like that is his character because if someone has a weird character no matter how much you try that person is going to like that is them that is their character if you're trying harder it's not going to you know magically change them like that is who they are like i feel we should really learn to hold people accountable because it is through holding people accountable that change is going to you know change is going to occur you know but the more we keep on trying to divert the blame just because of emotions and all these you know gender wars it's not going to help anyone you know it is not going to help us at all i really don't know if i'm making sense if you guys get what i'm trying to say because i personally i honestly believe there are still good men out there and one reason why i truly believe there are still good men out there is because of my dad guys if you don't know i was raised by a single father from when i was six years old like my dad literally raised me and my sisters single-handedly and for all those years he has never laid a hand on me he has never tried any weird weird moves on me or my sisters like he has never he has been a good man he has been the perfect example of a good man you know and that is why i still i still have the benefit of doubt that there are actually still good men out there because my dad is a good man if my dad is a good man i know there are other good men out there and i won't take that from men but then let emotions not you know cloud our eyes and make us act like these things actually don't happen i actually saw another comment that said that you don't even know if this is true just because the woman said so it doesn't mean that this is true and guys my argument is fine we don't know if this story is true or not right but even if the story is not true let's not act like these things are actually not happening you know let's not act like these things don't happen in society at least this has made us talk about it because i honestly feel like these are things that society tends to shut down especially in the african society guys when i tell you in the african society such matters are shamed victims are told not to expose they are you know abusers their own family members tell them not to expose their abusers because it is believed to cause shame on the family it is believed that it will cause shame and to the family and people will begin to disrespect the family but it's like if we continue to you know hide these things if we don't come out to openly expose such acts like these acts are going to continue going like these people are like if we don't come out to openly if we don't come out to openly expose such acts like it is not going to stop like they are still going to continue because the abusers know that the victim won't talk anyway society won't believe them anyway their own parents will tell them to you know keep quiet and they might not even believe them they might instead accuse the victim of lying you know like i just feel these are things that we really don't talk about but we should you know we should because like it's a lot of people going through these things guys you will be shocked by the number of people that are quiet the number of people that have experienced such abuse and they are quiet you will be shocked just recently we had an incident where a mom came out to expose her husband for you know touching her daughter for some good time and finally the daughter talked to the mom like she told her you know daddy has been doing this and this to me and yeah the mom went to the authorities and guys if only you see how this lady has been handled in uganda you know society wants to beat her up like she was walking on the streets and a group of men a gang of men ganged up on her and they were trying to beat her they were harassing her accusing her of disgracing her husband and you know and it was so many men over a hundred men on just one woman you know all of them openly attacking this woman in broad daylight in the streets you know and what is her offense coming out to defend her daughter coming out to speak up for her daughter is that her offense and what exactly was her offense 
coming out to seek justice for her daughter you know i don't know if i can get that video if i get it i'll try to put it here for you guys to watch like it was like it was really disheartening you know like it really made me wonder if this is how we are handling you know women that are coming out to speak like are we really encouraging others to come out and speak up you know if they see that this is how you handle even the ones that have gathered the courage to come out and speak like do you really think they will also come out and talk i doubt like it's like you're silencing them the more you know and that just gives these predators more power because they know society is actually going to turn against the victim you know like guys i don't know if you guys are getting where i'm trying to come from and this is not about being a feminist a woke woman a bitter black woman like this is just like i feel these are just things that i feel it is just being a human being and having human emotion and empathy for others you know putting yourself in other people's shoes like if this were you if this was your daughter you know how would you feel how would you react anyways i don't want to over elongate this video so i think it is wise that i just stop it right here I, I really don't know if you guys related to what i was saying i don't know if you understood where i'm coming from and yeah like i always say we don't have to agree on each and everything but please let us disagree respectfully like if you feel you disagree with me do it respectfully you don't have to come at me you know rudely you don't have to insult like you can give me your opinions and your thoughts in the comment below but we can still keep it cute and respectful right anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video kindly like share comment subscribe if you haven't already and yeah share this video to anyone that you think would actually love to hear this information and yes as i always say always and always come back for more till next time i remain lisa peace and love i love you all bye